In our world news, at least two people were killed and nine are missing after a massive explosion at a Pennsylvania chocolate factory on Friday, officials said. A violent blast at the R.M. Palmer Company plant rocked the town of West Reading shortly before 5 p.m., local officials said. At least eight people were hospitalized for medical attention. A spokesperson for Reading Hospitals said that of the eight patients, one was transferred, two were in fair condition and the rest had been released. The cause of the blast remains under investigation, but officials said they believe it may have been the result of a gas leak. No residents were evacuated, but the mayor asked those within one block of the blast to avoid the area. Officials said there is no danger to the community which is about 60 miles northwest of Philadelphia. The R.P. Palmer Company was founded in 1948 and is headquartered in West Reading. The confectioner, one of the country's largest, employs 850 people and specializes in holiday novelties like chocolate Easter bunnies, according to the company website. Officials are currently using dogs and specialty equipment to attempt to find more individuals in the rubble. Governor Josh Shapiro visited the site on Saturday releasing in a statement, our hearts break for the families of those who didn't come home. Chief of Police Wayne Holbin said the blast destroyed one building and damaged a neighboring building. Rescue crews using dogs and imaging equipment continued to search. Due to the violence of the explosion and the amount of time that has passed, the chance of finding survivors is decreasing rapidly, Moyer said. However, Please be assured that our primary goal is accounting for all missing individuals and reuniting them with their loved ones. Holbin earlier said the rescue of one person from the rubble provides hope that others still may be found. Rescue workers were continuing a thorough search using specialized equipment and techniques. Officials said dogs and imaging equipment were being used to look for signs of life during the careful removal of debris. The blast destroyed one building and damaged a neighboring building. Roadways near the site will be closed until Monday at 8 in the morning. Holbin said, a UGI Utilities spokesperson said crews were brought in after damage from the blast led to the release of gas that was helping to feed the fire. We did not receive any calls regarding a gas leak or a gas order prior to the incident. But we are cooperating with the investigation and part of that will be to check all our facilities in the vicinity. UGI spokesperson Joseph Swope said Saturday. RM Palmer said in a statement late Saturday that everyone at the company was devastated by the tragic events and focused on supporting our employees and their families. We have lost close friends and colleagues, and our thoughts and prayers are with the families and friends of all who have been impacted, the company said, expressing gratitude to the extraordinary efforts of first responders and the support of the reading community, which has been home to our business for more than 70 years. RM Palmer said it was anxious to get in touch with its employees and their families, but its email, phones and other communication systems were down. And it was relying on first responders and disaster recovery organizations to provide information to affected families. The company said it would be providing additional information and making contact with employees, impacted families, and the community as soon as possible. A team of structural engineers and K9S from a state urban search and rescue task force had been assisting since last night. An additional personnel arrived Saturday, he said. A state police fire marshal was also assisting in the investigation, he said. Philip Wirt, vice president of the West Reading Council, said the building had been constructed in the late 1950s or early 1960s, and officials had to access our archive to pull the blueprints last night. In order to get a better layout of the building and the mechanicals and the utilities, the silver lining in all this is someone was found alive. Someone was found alive that was in rubble, not knowing whether they were going to live or die, and fortunately we found that person and they've got a second chance, and hopefully fingers crossed we're going to find more, he said. Frank Gonzalez stood on a hill overlooking the blast site, watching the rubble being cleared. He said his sister Diana Chedeno was working at the plant at the time of the blast and was among the missing. It's not good. It's just stressful waiting, not knowing, he said, expressing frustration at what he perceived as a lack of communication from authorities about the search. We keep reaching out, bugging keeping her name alive just in case she is in there and says her name. Gonzalez said his son and nephew had also worked at the plant. 
but that his son had quit a few months ago because he said he didn't like the smell of the gas that was in there. His son and nephew had complained about the smell to plant supervisors who told them, It's all right. We got it. It's being handled. Don't worry about it. He said, Frank De Jesus said his stepdaughter, Aurelis Rivera Santiago, a Palmer employee, was working in the building next door at the time of the blast. The ceiling caved, and she had to crawl under machinery to make it out, he said. The Jesus said he rushed to the scene to find her shaking and crying hysterically, and she was still too shaken to speak about what had happened. Plant employees, including his stepdaughter, had complained about smelling gas throughout the day Friday, De Jesus said. Doug Alexi was home from work and checking email when the blast shook his house, rattling windows and making the walls vibrate. It sounded like a bomb went off, he recalled Saturday. I mean, all of our houses shook. I've never heard as loud of an explosion in my life. He and his neighbors ran out onto the street immediately afterward and were met by thick black smoke. At first, Alexi thought it was a train derailment because there are tracks nearby. Then he learned it was the Palmer plant, which he called a West Reading Institution. Everybody knows Palmer chocolate, he said. R.M. Palmer's website says it has been making chocolate novelties since 1948 and now has 850 employees at its West Reading headquarters.